if you think about it, like, um, like uh, you know, since 2000 alone, there's been all sorts of fortune tellers. You know, false prophets, you know, whatever you want to call them. People trying to tell us, you know, <laughs> what they don't know. <laughs> I need to stand up for this one. So, uh, you know, like Y2K, whatever happened to that, you know what I mean? Don't give me this prophesy in part, you know, stuff. Come on now. You, you say that before the people are all freaked out. You don't prophesy, and then when your prophecy's wrong, you go, hey, man, we prophesy in part. <laughs> you tell the people <laughs> while you're prophesying. Now, everybody, we prophesy in part. It's different, isn't it? Come on, and, and all the people said, <laughs> okay, should be louder than that. <laughs> so, so, the, so, the, so the man grows old and he says, says right here, uh, he is older now and he's getting wiser. And he's wiser now because there's nothing new. I remember being a little boy and being freaked out. I'm going to get that guy someday. I remember being freaked out in 1988 and 1989. Now, this is what I'm learning now. Why was I so afraid? Jesus coming back in 88 and 89. First, first you shouldn't be afraid of Jesus coming back. But, you know, we sell a lot of books on fear. He is older now and he's getting wiser. And he's wiser now because there's nothing new. He has heard a thousand fortune tellers. He has heard them all like me and you. Could you help me out, Mr. Fortune Teller? Could you come round here to my dwelling place? Your voice is loud, but your words are empty. I'll be waiting right here if you got something to say. Tragedy. Sometimes I get, I laugh so hard it just takes hold of me. 